everyone, how you doing? I'm Tintin57, welcome back to the channel. And today, this is one of those that you guys, my subscribers, have recommended to me as being a good fit for the channel. And that is Farming Simulator 22. So, you guys have been telling me for a while to pick this up. I've never ever played a farming game. It seems very daunting to me, it seems like there's a lot going on, there's a lot to do. And I'm hoping the... St the uh, learning curve just isn't too steep for me to be honest but this is the first look uh, this is on the PS5 um, I just picked this up uh, Friday I think it I think it came uh, just unpacked it got it installed so let's dive in and have a look let's see how it goes create an empty slot I'm definitely gonna go with easy uh, looks like we've got three maps so Elm Creek looks like the US I would say Hot Belleron, is that France? France or Germany? And Erlengrat, this definitely looks Swiss, doesn't it? So, I think... I think there's different types of farming, as I understand, in each map. So, But I think we'll start with the American one. Let's do that. Uh, appears like I've got a couple of DLCs is there as well. Uh, I think the one on the right came as a bonus item in the actual pack. Anyway, let's just carry on. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully, there's some tutorials that I can do. Hopefully, I've adjusted the sound so you can hear me over the engines as well, because that uh, might cause me some trouble on a game like this. Ah, character selection. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's have a thing. Uh, I am assuming you can do some of this afterwards. You don't need to actually go with uh, with this right now uh, let's just have a quick flick whilst we're here see what we've got I'll go with that one I think uh, what else have we got facial hair uh, moustaches oh this is quite good oh wow look at these some of these are really good it's an F1 driver. Pilot. That looks quite good, doesn't it? Wow, oh, choices. Cowboy. Uh, hmm. <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> We're gonna just pick one for now for the sake of the video. So let's go with John. I'm gonna go for this guy. That looks good. Uh, did I not press that then? After all that. There we go. Right, selected. Uh, not bothered about that. Trousers are fine. Boots are fine. Hats fine. Don't need gloves, not bother about glasses. Right. So, let's confirm. Welcome to Farming Simulator. Would you like to start a short guided tour? This will show you the basics of the game. We definitely need that. Definitely need it. I'm not going to survive without this. Uh, to your left, at the edge of your field, is a big green harvester. Head over there and touch the exclamation mark next to it. In the lower left is your map. The large blue diamond icon indicates where the exclamation mark is located. Okay, so we're used to mini-maps from the various games, that's fair enough. Um, to toggle the map view is L1 and L3, and then we've got the usual player movement, so that's absolutely fine. So, Oh, wow, there it is. And I'm assuming all these uh, pieces of machinery are all real-life machines and, and licensed machines. I don't know anything about farming in real life, I'm ashamed to say. Um, but um, I'm looking forward to learning all about it through this game. Uh, it says, this is one of the fields you want from the very start. Its wheat has conveniently grown to a stage where it can be harvested. Time for you to enter this combine harvester and get started. Oh, excellent. Let's just have a quick look at this whilst we're here. This is a, a Deutz Far. Sounds German, doesn't it? Wow, look at this. I 
the ambient sounds really good as well. There's not much traffic on the road, is there? But the wind noise and uh, you can hear vehicles, you can hear birds. It's it's all really quite relaxing. There's birds even there lifting off. Look, let's jump in. Okay, attach the harvester's header that's sitting right in front of it. The help panel in the top le left hand corner always shows you the functions that are currently available. Okay, that's good to know. Because I think I'll need that. So we've got that loaded up now. Good. Now unfold the harvester and turn it on so the header starts rotating. So if we press, uh, let's get off that, if we press L1 and then X to unfold. Then I think we need to lower the circle. Uh, did it say start it, or is it is it ready to go? It's not. It's not spinning, is it? Let's think. Okay, I've just dumped it there. Let's have a look. Oh, turn on the harvester. There we go. You're all set to harvest, drive forward into the wind. You can either adjust your vehicle speed manually or use the cruise control to maintain the constant speed. The maximum speed you can drive is automatically determined by the vehicle and the attached tool you use. Right, so I'm going to probably do it manually, at least to begin with. So, let's do this. Let's give it a go. Select the camera. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, I'm going to have loads of fun with this. I can tell you this now. You were definitely right, guys. This is my time to think. Oh, I want to carry on. It's going to stop me now for the demo purposes. So far, so good. Usually, however, you'll have a lot to do. So it makes sense to hire helpers on your phone. Whenever a job can be executed by a helper, it will be indicated in the top left panel. Hire a helper to take care of the rest of this field. Okay, so we need to press circle to hire somebody. I'm assuming the helper is doing it now. The helper will now take care of this job until they're done or the grain tank of the harvester is full. You can take care of other business. Exit the harvester, walk to the next exclamation mark symbol on the map. Okay, so exit the square. There he goes. Oh, it's look good. I'm assuming this here is the... Uh, the waste. So it's collecting it in the tank at the back, collecting the grain in the tank. And this is just the waste product. And I wonder if we collect this at a later point to use for some kind of, uh, you know, animal feed or something similar. Uh, now can we sprint? Oh, we can sprint. Look at that. Let's just have a look around the farm. Oh wow, there's a there's an old barn. Now when I was a kid, Fisher Price made one of these. I recognise this. Ooh, that's nice. We'll come to that later. I'm sure it's gonna tell us something about that. Got a trailer there just hanging around. What's this? A silo? Just some sort of storage. There's the house. We've got our own little Jeep here, pickup truck. Ooh. Is that where we uh, can work on vehicles under there? Oh, look at that, there's loads to explore. Right, I'm going to stick to the tutorial. Because I'm still trying to learn everything. Here's the next one. Fields that have been harvested need to be cultivated before they can be sown anew. This field's been harvested recently, now needs somebody to cultivate it. Enter the tractor, attach the cultivator that's placed behind it. So that field info box on the right hand side there at the bottom is quite interesting. I, w I was wondering, how do you know what needs doing in each field? Um, is it by the naked eye? Is there some list? It looks as if the field info is what I was looking for. Um, that's going to tell us what we need to do. So if we keep getting those prompts, I should be okay. Let's attach this. So that's attached. Uh, what else do we need to do? Let's have a look. Whoops. Oh, I need to attach the front oh, one. Darn it. Let's just do that. Uh, do we need 
this will lower it. There we go. Attach that one. Lower the cultivator, which we did. Drive over the field to cultivate its soil. Alright. So what does this what does this front one do? I understand the back is is raking it up. That's my untechnical term for, for what it's doing. I can see that. But is this what is this one doing? And this is and this is the thing with me that's going to take time to uh, pick up. I'm not 100% sure what all the different farming equipment actually does. So I understand we're cultivating the field. Do I need to lower this one? Let's have a look. I don't need to lower this one because uh, I've already got the exclamation mark. So I assume it just wants me to drive now. So we'll do that. Let's change the view. I quite like this view as well. We'll have a look at the back actually. Just got those two views. Yeah, you can see it turning the soil there. Well done, that's enough for now. Hire another helper to finish the job. So let's hire a helper. So we keep hiring these helpers. Uh, I definitely want to do some of this myself. <laughs> if you hire a helper, does he just do this one job? And then that's it, he's gone. The next time you need to do this, I'm just wondering. Remember, I'm a complete noob with this, so I've got lots of questions. Uh, let's switch to one of the other tractors. Using the switching feature, you can quickly cycle for all your vehicles. Do this until you reach the tractor, with the next exclamation mark right beside it, and get out and switch it. Okay. So, let's do that. Oh, that was it then, wasn't it? I saw it. There it is. So let's get out. Fields that have been cultivated are ready to be sown. For this, you need to use a sewing machine. Get back in the tractor and attach the sewing machine that's placed behind it. All right. There's the sewing machine. This is a nice bit of kit. Looks very new, doesn't it? Very shiny. I imagine that's going to get filthy in the next to no time. So anyway, let's jump in. We need to attach it. So this is the 10 Winkle Pack 750. Uh, and that we've also got the Nordston HK25. Which one's the? Which one is the Nordston? Is that the one at the back? It actually, has got. That's a Nordston 30. Right, so that's the Nordston 3030. So we actually attached the front one then, didn't we? So it's the front one that we attached. Now we attach the Nordston at the back. So, the sewing machine you just attached is already filled with seeds. Once you run out, you have to refill it with a seed bag bought from the shop. Time to sow. Since it's August, the only crop that can be sown at this time of year is canola. Change the seed type visible in the lower right of the screen three times until you have canola selected. The canola icon looks like a little yellow flower. Then turn on, lower the sewing machine, drive over the field. Okay, so L1 and triangle three times to select canola. Then we need to lower the tool and turn it on. Okay, let's go for that. So, select the seed first. So that's the little flower, that, that's canola. Uh, then we need to... Do we lower it first? I think we lower it first. And then... Is this one already lowered at the back? We need to unfold the cedar, do we? Let's turn it on. I don't know if we're ready to go there or not. Just select the next two. Lift the weight. I don't know if we're ready to go, so let's try it. Is that doing it? So it must have done it. I wasn't quite sure then which order to do things in, but it seems to have done it. And it's let me get to the exclamation mark anyway. 
but I'm not entirely convinced on. Uh, it says, nice, you got the hang of that. You can continue later if you want, or hire another help for this job. As you can see, it's important to know what plants can be sold each season. So there's the other trick. I'm going to have to consult the calendar, as it says uh, the crop calendar, uh, to get an overview. But I'm assuming, though, the more that you play it, you get used to the seasons. If you're working on the same farm, you get used to the seasons and what needs to be done when. And that's all going to take a lot of time to do that, I assume. Um, it says switch to the next tractor with an exclamation mark next to it. Okay, so first thing we'll do, we'll hire another worker. So there he or she goes, it's a he in this case. Uh, we'll jump out. Let's just have a look. Yeah, it's the same as, as what I was doing. No, it's not. Look. I didn't have it lowered. I had a feeling. So you can see there, where the AI's taken over, you see all the ridges. Where I was, I'd not got it lowered, and that's what I thought. So in a way, that's good, because I'm learning. I didn't think it was right. Anyway, they're going to they're gonna have missed a bit there, unless they go back. I don't think they're going to go back, are they? So we'll have one, there it is, it gets lowered, you see, at the back. I had a feeling. So it's going to be a bit missed at the top, unless it's clever enough to go back. Anyway, let's go down here. Looks like the harvest is finished. The whole field's now done. That's all har harvested now. Let's go to the exclamation mark. As soon as the harvester's tank is full, or even before that, you can unload its contents into a trailer. Hop on the tractor and attach the trailer to it. Right, so some repetition we always hop on and then we always attach something don't we drive next to the harvester on its left hand side and see your trailer is alongside it open the cover of your trailer the pipe will start extending and if you're in the correct position the wheat will start pouring out automatically all right so this is where i'm assuming we're going to go to market or whatever the equivalent name is for this so, let's open the cover first, actually. So let's press L1. So the cover's off. We need to go to the left-hand side. Well, these guys get a bit close to each other, don't they? Look at this. Right, I hope he doesn't prank me the next time I... Uh, the next time he comes down. Right, so... So what did I press then? I pressed circle, didn't I? By accident. Oh, well, actually, this is the map. This is the map. Let's just have a look at the map while we're here. This is not what we're meant to be doing, but while we're here. Wow, look at this. So all these numbered... All these numbered uh, fields here must have all sorts of different things going on. Uh, unless the brown sort of colour means nothing's happening yet in these... Uh, this is all part of my discovery. Uh, top right, I can see we've got two workers, and it shows on the map where they are. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, God, it's a massive field. It's massive, isn't it? I know they said it's a massive field. It's a massive farm. This is the whole farm. Wow. Right. Um, so it said it would do it automatically. Am I not near enough, or do I need to now go and do this myself, perhaps? Let's have a look. Let me change the view. Oh, maybe actually I'm too far. I'm too far. So, uh, let's think what we need to do. We need the pipe out. That looks good. Oh, there we go. So I can see down the bottom right corner it's empty. Great, wheat is being dumped into your trailer. Wait until it's done, then drive your tractor with the trailer to the spot indicated on the map. And touch the exclamation point there. Oh, so that's quite satisfying that, isn't it? Now, I can close this... I can now bring this pipe in, Connor. 
and I can hop out of there now because we're done with that. If I get back in here and close the cover, close the cover. Right. So having that menu there the whole time is is quite useful to be honest. Uh, I can see the flashing exclamation mark. Let's get out of here before this guy in the tractor comes and rams us. Assuming there's still no traffic. Oh no, there we go. You know it, don't you? As soon as you go to the main road, the traffic turns up. Right. I'm hoping this is where we get paid. Right, it does look good though. I mean, one thing... I mentioned it earlier about the equipment. To me, a tractor is a tractor. And uh, apologies if I offend anybody who's, who's been playing this game really, really seriously. Because I am going to take it very seriously. But right now, my level of experience is I don't know one tractor from another. Um, and this is part of the learning curve, isn't it? Because uh, I'm assuming we've got all sorts of different tractors for different performance, different types of fields. Uh, we need perhaps different tractors for different attachments. Maybe you need a certain tractor to use a certain attachment. All this is what I need to discover as I go along, but uh, I can tell you I'm certainly looking forward to it. Just this basic introduction has got my uh, interest level at a high. But for now, we'll just take some baby steps, I think. I can see the money going down in the top right corner as well. So that's assuming me using fuel or paying the AI workers. So I guess that's an important thing. That's the business side we need to keep an eye on. It's going down very slowly. Uh, but still, I'm hoping we get a, a decent amount of money from this grain. This wheat that we are uh, taking now. I think we need to turn right here. So, 24 miles per hour, we seem to be doing uh, top whack in this tractor. At least on the driving controls, etc., all straightforward, it's just the usual usual buttons. Uh, actually I should have turned in the next one back go this way. I can see where the exclamation mark is. Right, so here we are. Let's drive into this. Looks like a silo though, is this, are we going to drop this off? Oh, this would be pretty good. Unloading station is one of the places on the map where you can sell your harvest. Oh, that's what we wanted. You can check the current prices of all products by opening the menu and going to the prices screen. Right. Move the tractor so the trailer is located right over the pit. As soon as the unload symbol appears at the bottom of the screen, you can unload the wheat and sell it. So, first of all, it said check the prices, didn't it? So let's have a look. Uh, where is the prices? Oh, that's neat. That shows us what's in each field. There's a wiki, the, a full wiki, which is super useful, as well as the guide we've already got. Um, statistics. Production chains, contracts, not sure what that is yet. Is this the prices? That's the lawns, isn't it? Is that, oh, I see there, so there's the prices. So there's the prices. We can look for wheat and you can see there's one, two, three, four different places we can sell it. So which one are we at right now? I hope we're in one of these bottom three. <laughs> I don't actually know which one we're at. Anyway, we need to we need to open the uh, cover, don't we? 
to drive onto this. I assume we need to, it's going to tip, is it? Is it going to tip? I don't even know if this vehicle tips, but let's, let's just do that in case. Right, start loading, unloading, sorry, with the uh, right one, triangle. Oh, here we go, look at this. I hope I don't miss. I can drive forward actually while it's doing it. Oh no, there we go, we're okay. So there's our wheat going in. Look at our money going up as well. So I think we only made, I'm assuming that's 102,000, we only made 3,000 then from that. So it's gonna, it's not gonna be easy farming. But nicely done, selling your crops is the main way to earn money as a farmer. Let's drive over to the shop where the final exclamation mark is. The flashing diamond indicates it on your map once again. Right, let's do that. So let's close the cover. It's all getting, I'm getting used to it now. I'm getting used to the buttons, the controls. So I think once we've got that, we just learn, we just need to learn how to play the game then. Right, there's nobody driving there. Let's just hop into the, uh, the cab. So we need to head back a similar way to where we started. This is, this is great, but this is a game that, a lot of you said this to me, this is a game where you can sink your teeth into it and just while away the hours. So I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know, I don't know why I didn't pick it up earlier, to be honest. Uh, because Farming Sim 19 came out um, on PS Plus, so it was free. I can't remember when that was, was it about a year ago? It was probably just before this one came out. And um, I didn't even play that one. I think in the last couple of weeks I just fired it up just briefly to have a look at it, but I didn't play it. Uh, and I thought about playing 19, and then I just thought, well, it's in the sale, why not pick up 22? And I'll have a look at that. Got nothing to lose. Because uh, you guys have given me such glowing reports about it, I thought, well, I can't really go wrong because uh, you guys have been on the channel for quite some time now and you know you know the type of stuff that I like to play so I think you've probably hit on one here uh, but be sure that I'll be coming to you guys for lots of tips <laughs> Let's just pull over to this side. I don't want to hug the whole road. There's no traffic. Well, there's not much, is there? We've seen a couple of vehicles. These cabs are nice, aren't they? Look at that. We've got the uh, on the wall there. Everything's in German. So we're coming back towards our farm, I believe, right now. This is it on the right hand side. See that field there looks ready to uh, be, uh, what would you call it? Cropped. <laughs> so I guess I can kind of drive over there after it and see, you know, in the next one, see what needs doing. And that's how we. I think that's how we uh, get our tasks, is it? There's our field that we just uh, got the wheat from. That looks like our other guy has uh, finished sowing that field. So that's the only other question I've got right now. Once the tutorial's finished, is it going to tell us to go to field, you know, whatever it is, and start doing something, or you just do you just drive round and pick up those jobs yourself? I'm not entirely clear yet until we get into it. There's lots of little icons here at the different shops. There's a bread store there, for example. So need to discover all that too. I think one of the first things I might do 
after the tutorial is jump in the pickup truck and just have a good explore of the map. I think that's worth doing, just see where everything is, just get a get a view of the scale, really. Right, so this is the shop. Clever mortars. Uh, this is where you can sell your vehicles and tools or buy new equipment. You can either visit the shop in person by activating the shopping symbol in front of it or trigger it anywhere by pressing the button shown below, which is the touchpad. And that's the end of this tour. Visit the help menu for more in-depth information. Good luck and have fun in the world of farming. Well, I think we're going to do that. I think we're definitely going to do that because I am looking forward to this a lot just getting in that combine harvester at the beginning just doing that little bit before we handed it over to the AI I was loving that I wanted to do the whole field straight away uh, but for purposes of the tutorial I had to let one of our guys take over and do that so um, I'm wondering where I'm going to start because now it's left me at the shop I don't quite know what's next so I'm going to work that out but until then thanks everybody for watching I hope uh, you've enjoyed it uh, I, I hope you've had a good laugh at a noob getting into Farming Sim 22 when you guys have been playing it for a long, long time. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Take care.